Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Chopster and Audio and my name is Jan. Thanks for tuning in. This time, this video is a short video. I just explain how to assign your Roland TRS as a MIDI controller to Ableton Live. So you can use all those knobs and faders in Ableton Live um, for some other functions or instruments if you want to. Yeah, if you're interested, let's have a look into it. All right, back to the TRS. So let's go um, straight into it. First, you uh, notice I have all my instruments are muted, um, muted. Only two are active and they have the same color than uh, my um, tracks in Ableton, just not to um, cause any confusion with all those different instruments. And you also noticed um, the um, tempo is not active here because my TRS is connected via USB to Ableton. So um, the TRS gets a speed or the tempo from Ableton, which works really well for my setup. So you can do the same if you want to. However, um, let's um, press utility and let's go to the MIDI settings. So here, um, I scroll slowly um, through and you can maybe take notes or take screenshots or, or whatever. So all those settings are basically standard since I did the update to 2.51, I think. The only thing I had to turn on was basically this one, TX Edit Data On. Because when it's off, you can't assign any instruments or any knobs or faders to Ableton. So that needs to be on. All the other stuff is standard setting. So I haven't changed that. Maybe the TS is probably um, able to do something more fancy than that, but um, in my case, this works really good. So that are the um, settings um, on your TRS. And now you um, see here in Ableton, let's have a look. Um, the green channel is our rim shot on our TRS and the MIDI is our um, high tom here. So easy. So it doesn't cause any confusion. However, let's go to the options. Then go to preferences, link MIDI. And then you see here the input TRS is track on, sync on, remote is on. There's another input, the CTRL is only one on and the other ones are off. And then here the output of the TRS is track on, sync is on and remote is off. And then the other output is the CTRL one, all off. So it works pretty good in this setup for me. Um, you probably don't need to have them all on maybe, or off, but you know, I just don't need to figure everything out. When it works, it's fine. <laughs> so um, yeah, leave the menu and that's basically it. So when I press now play on my TRS, you hear our rim shot is playing and our high tom, there's nothing assigned to it. So I press, just press stop. So now what we wanna do is, we wanna first double click here, and then maybe we wanna just do a little, press B shortcut, and then we just do a little whatever assignment here, like little, something like this, I don't know. <laughs> So press B again, then that's basically the notes, the MIDI notes. And then we need uh, an instrument on our MIDI channel here. So in our case, we're using the operator. Just drag it on that. And we just leave all those settings. Just, we don't need to change anything at the moment. And then we want um, whatever. We want to assign, let's say, the track the auto filter on it. And we wanna assign the filter frequency of our auto filter to one of the knobs on our TRS. And let's do it with the CTL knob here. So to do this, basically, just do all those steps I just did before, and then go to MIDI here. And then all those different colors now that you can assign some stuff to your TRS or MIDI controller, which is the TRS at the moment. So now we just, Press click once on um, filter frequency in Ableton here and you see there's some edges here. When you click on resolution, edges here. So we want to click on this one 
and then now this is selected now you can turn the knob on your ctl now on your um sorry on your tls to assign the filter frequency to it and when i turn it you see there's some numbers here here as well the midi nodes and the channel and then minimum or max you can set that as well if you want to yeah and now you have to leave this menu by pressing midi again and when we now turn our um, ctl knob wow <laughs> that's sick so you basically can assign anything to the uh, to ableton or any da uh, daw probably um yeah that's so handy so you can have like let's say your bass drum and all this stuff still here playing like normally audio in into ableton and then let's say you just use this channel or the last few channels or some other cross across the tls as a midi control but the only thing is there's still the function of the tls so you have let's say the, the uh, auto filter assigned to our ctl not he knob here but then you can still use the ctl knob <laughs> to assign some stuff to it so you have to be a bit careful with this because you know you, you just change the auto filter in ableton and then also you change let's say the reverb on your tls which is like, you know, I don't know what you want to do, but when you have more assigned to it, it you just get lost into it. So let's have a um, listen to it. Let's say when I press here now a play. Yeah, you see here that those notes are playing. Yeah, all good. And then when I turn the auto filter now here, you see, really cool stuff. So whatever, like you can do, play around whatever you want here in Ableton. Um, when we just lower all those notes, I don't know, make a bass line or whatever. Um, yeah, you can. We can also um, just do other fancy stuff with it. So now we just basically just select our yeah, this here, just press play. Now our windshot is playing. Our MIDI track in, in Ableton is playing. And we can change the filter frequency with our CTL knob here. How cool is this? <laughs> so you can anything you want. You can assign the faders to the track volume in Ableton or anything you want to do. So really cool. Um, that gives you lots of options. Even, even if you don't like, uh, let me just stop this here just quickly. Even if you don't like the TLS, like all the sounds and all what, uh, whatever, um, you just use it as a MIDI controller, which is a really cool surface because you have all those different knobs and functions and steps, like a, a step sequencer. And yeah, it's even as a MIDI controller, it's really cool. So. Yeah, sometimes I use this one here, um, the, this one. Um, it's just a MIDI controller with different layers. Um, but um, yeah, when you just want to have a compact setup and you don't need all those ch um, uh, instruments or channels, you just leave your last tray and just assign some cool stuff to your um, DAW to it. Yeah, that's basically it. So um, that's it. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'm happy to answer it. Um, if you like my video and um, subscribe, there's more stuff to come. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day. See you later.